Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm gonna look at one of the free editing softwares you can get on your phone or tablet. I wanted to check it out because often I get asked questions about what I can use for free, what people can do for editing because they're not wanting to like buy into the Adobe suite or buy into Avid, which is completely within their rights. They are very expensive and also take quite a long time to learn as well and get your head around. So hopefully some of the free softwares will be worth your time and effort to learn. Obviously now with TikTok and Reels, you can do some video editing in your social media platforms, but that comes with the watermarks and they're both, if you're wanting to upload on TikTok and on Reels, but you only want to edit one video, they're not very inclined to boost your video content if they have the other's watermark on. So you need to be careful if you can do it outside of those apps and then import it into them it might be a better alternative than like losing views or engagement off one of the platforms so let's go have a look at the app i've chosen today but before that don't forget to subscribe and if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and then we'll crack on now let's get into it So first we need to set some ground rules on how we're going to judge this app. I'm thinking how intuitive it is to use, the breadth of the tools you have access to, and then just like look and feel, like export options, general, like the general scope of it all. Basically just whether I like it or not to use. I think with editing potentially your phone might not always be the best with these kinds of free softwares. A tablet will probably give you more dexterity but we're going to find out anyway. So let's crack on. Let me get started. So the video editing software I'm looking at today is Ucut. Uh, I just found it on my Google store. Uh, so let's edit our first video. Let's allow that. So I did some filming this morning just of like the behind the scenes stuff. So let's put, can I select many? Yeah, awesome. So import all of that. Just me goofing off whilst I set this up. Makes it twice as long to set up. Oh, very nice. I would never suggest you zoom on your phone cameras. Often it will just lead to pixelated, pixelated footage or images, which obviously at the end of the day you don't want. You want that peak quality. So yeah, I'm just scrolling through. The total time I have at the minute is four minutes essentially it's 355 so we want to cut that down to probably less than a minute just for some social content i wonder if i can speed any of these up so like i have where is it i have this shot of me putting my tripod up speed there we go so let's do times four i wonder if i can get rid of the sound of that as well I was listening to a podcast, so I wasn't expecting to um, actually have trim. Okay, cool. So going into trim, you can actually isolate the bit that you want, which is good because so it means that you can precisely trim or you can cut your shot in half or uh, split it, which is helpful because you might so like with transitions on TikTok, particularly ones where you like look and look back or for like makeup reveals or outfit reveals and you're going between your first outfit, the second outfit and then back to your first outfit, being able to do your first outfit in one take and then split and put the second cut in the middle will be so much easier because then you're not having to change twice, you only have to change once. Volume wise, I just want me talking at the beginning and the end more than anything else. 
I don't really need any any of the other bits and also I might get rid of some of the clips as well but let's see what I'm talking about I'm keeping all anything that I'm speeding up I'm keeping them all the same speed because there's nothing worse than having unless you're doing fast and then slow-mo there's nothing worse than having differentiating speeds you want to kind of keep it as consistent as possible so let's just shorten this as well make it snappy something that i wish you could do is like so i don't necessarily want the sound throughout the clip because it's just the podcast but then my reaction to turning on the light would be quite funny so the oh jesus if i could ramp up the sound just for that clip would be good i guess i could do it if i cut this clip wait let me see let's split it there yeah and then if i do volume up so no sound me showing my kit in my room jesus mm, kind of works it would do I guess I mean if you're putting music under it as well that blank space of sound isn't going to be as obvious so you'll see this in the YouTube video as well <laughs> which you will so I've only got it down to two minutes I mean I do ramble I tend to ramble I didn't really plan out my shots all that well I was just going with the flow as as I was putting stuff together and just grabbing my phone so let's have a look at the music. I have no idea, to be honest, if these are, are copyright free. Oh, that's quite jazzy. Oh, okay, so they're copyright free. You have to copy the um, description. Okay, cool, cool. There we go. Trims at the end. Awesome, cool. So, we can add text, hello. I don't really want text on it, so I'm not that fussed about it, but that's cool that you can almost add like layers, but that's cool. So I'm just gonna quickly go through all the tools that you can use. So obviously you've got trim, which we've used, which was good. Music was interesting. I think that's a good addition to compete with things like TikTok and Reels. It's definitely good to have music and if you're offering copyright free music also massive plus loads of filters color correction that's what you want and they have some pro ones so i presume they've got a paid option but then you can just do oh clicked it and then adjust is just your normal color correction which is woof, a lot that's actually a really good selection obviously i've just been through text uh stickers Oh, you can add GIFs and stuff. That's really funny. Pip. Oh, add more stuff. Speed as we've looked at. Oh, that's cool. So you can select the frame you want, which is really helpful. So like for me, I film this vertically. So I want it for, I mean, I'm probably going to want it in four or five for Instagram and probably nine by 16 for Instagram reels and not just TikTok. And then you can rec record voiceovers as well, which is really handy. So I could have just put all my clips in of me setting up and then done a voiceover like, this is how I set up my tripod. This is how I set up my camera, blah, blah, blah. And then you can do an overall volume setting, which is good. Right, let's have a look at all this. So resolution, 1080, yep, that sounds good. Frame rate, 30, also good. And we want high quality, awesome. And it tells you how like how big the file will be as well. It's just converting it. I mean, this is definitely a fully fledged editing app. I'm quite impressed. Like it offers you everything you could need for basic editing, which if you're using, if you're editing on your phone, you're probably doing on the fly and you probably just want to do quick edits anyway. So it's perfect for that. My only gripe is obviously all the tools are so small that you have to be really finicky with it. But 
again like say you're editing what well, on the go like traveling you're on a train you're in someone's car you're uh, walking down the street you just need to quickly put something together like at festivals or something so it's been saved to my storage which is really good but you can save it straight to I don't know what telegram is sorry you can save it straight to any of your platforms as well I presume you'd have to attach it your account but let's stop my recording so I think Yuka is actually a really good option I'm really impressed with it I would expect less from a free editing app. I kind of just expected you to just drag and drop clips into a timeline and not really have much say in like the length of the clips or how you go about doing anything with them. Yeah, I think definitely a very good way to edit your videos on your phone. I think if you're not used to the terminology or like how to edit videos, you might have to take some time to wrap your head around how you go about actually editing. But I think it's definitely an app worth having if you think you're gonna be editing on the fly regularly. I mean, the free options are just like, you can't get much better. I'm sure the pro options are even more in depth and it's only 12 pounds at the minute, at least for a one-time purchase. So. I think if you're looking at doing it regularly, maybe it will be worth buying Pro. So for me, I found it really intuitive to use. I think I, you could see all the tools that you needed and it even gave you like little, like a small tutorial, like here's your clip, here's how to trim, here's how to edit, blah, blah, blah. And then everything else was kind of laid out for you. Like you clicked the clip it was outlined in orange you could then it was like volume trimming all the other things you could do with that clip I think it was pretty self-explanatory the amount of tools you get as I've said is very impressive for a free program I definitely think it is like it's quick enough to use it doesn't lag at all although I've only used it for like 10-15 minutes I got the hang of it pretty quickly. There was loads of adjustment tools like volume, color adjustments, the transitions, text um, editing, like being able to do text graphics on your phone, pretty impressive. And yeah, I just generally really liked it actually. I think you wouldn't get, like even the Adobe Suite Premiere, I don't think is that intuitive of an editing software than this is. So I definitely think it's worth a starter using, like a beginner editor, a beginner content creator would definitely find this handy to have, for sure. So it's a positive one from me. I definitely think it's worth having if you feel like you need editing software and like you don't have a desktop to edit on, definitely worth having a look at that. So now I've added another editing software to my arsenal. What did you think? Do you have anything else I should be looking at? Leave some comments and don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up before you leave and I will see you in the next one. See you later.